No, what are you waiting for? Do it! All right, guys, what's up? We finally got to the Rise of Iron DLC stage. Oh, it was a it was a long road. Stayed up till two in the morning. Uh, this morning, technically, it's eleven p.m. on the twentieth. Only to find out it's like two a.m. American time or something. So I cried. <laughs> I was up until 3.30 in the morning thinking they were just going to release it eventually. And I just had to be patient. But, no. So, from first off, you see there's... <clears throat> there was no... Um, there was no extra character slot in the beginning. But, now we've got to this next page. You can see that there is information on the new uh, all the new happenings so we've got new items maximum light has increased to 385 new gear and sparrows are available uh, yep they the first stuff new raids crucible updates and new campaigns so that's cool uh, because I pre-ordered it I've got the new sparrow and the new freaking bazooka thing um, and we're just going to go see what other gear we've got. I think I've got a character boost to 40, which I'm going to use on my hunter. That's why I'm using this profile. And then I'm going to have a playthrough of the new character. Uh, if you can play through with him, I don't know. But we're about to boost off and see. Find out what we can do. <clears throat> so thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for hanging out, waiting for this. Um, and tomorrow I'll be doing another vlog, I don't know what day I'll be posting this, one day in the future after this video, there'll be another vlog coming out, I'll just be doing some bits and bobs, uh, yeah, but hope you can check out my other vlog, <clears throat> give us some feedback on how that was, uh, I got a few good, few good feedback, uh, things to work on, so... That'd be cool to see that get better. Uh, just gonna put my mic on its stand. <coughs> oh, sorry. Okay, so straight away I see the postmaster has got something for me yet. I haven't played anything to leave it here. So this may be my character boost. Aha! Spark of light. So this is it. Use the spark of light when you're in the Tower of the Reef, the Iron Temple, to immediately increase the level of one character to 40. Oh, Iron Temple. So, there's a whole temple. Alright, so here's the Sparrow. Let's give it a little preview. Oh, ho, ho, she is mint. That is awesome. You can't really see because of the uh, focus there. But that's got like a dragon head, I think, on it. Or some kind of wing. It's kind of out of focus. <coughs> Very nice. Boost. Thrusters. Destabilizers. R1 while airborne to release Rolster. Well, that'll be fun to work out, because I haven't done that before. Uh, that. New horn. What does that sound like? Uh, wow! <laughs> that was impressive. Did you hear that? I hope so. <laughs> Very cool. Alright, then we've got uh, the rocket launcher. Requires year 3 in Melahorn. Whatever you say. So that's the bazooka. And we'll check that out as well. And some kind of player card. That's cool. So that's pretty much the first look. Alright, so if you haven't seen one of these, yeah, it's just a new consumables. 
um, and you just hold to use it like anything else. Uh, it'll boost up. Boom. So it gives you some gear so you're not still at a terrible, you know, standing. But straight away now we've got a level 40 hunter and there's a whole bunch of stuff we can do. Dude's looking pretty fresh. Uh, gotta go get some armor shaders. We'll have some proper playthrough. Once Trent has his, we're going back to Rubina tomorrow because even though I did vlog and it did look like we were at Rubina getting <laughs> getting his stuff, um, it actually wasn't the case. We got to EB Games and all of their tills were down. That's why I mean, me and Trent were just standing off to the side of the shop. Their registers were all offline and all these other things. So we actually couldn't even... We couldn't actually buy his pre-owned, so uh, I've got to wait even longer. But I couldn't wait for this part. Uh, get the get the groundwork put in. Get my dudes all set up. I always wondered what they're going to do with this, because if you look over in the background, it's kind of like construction going on. I don't know. We'll see. All in good time. Destiny is the game that keeps on giving, so I'm sure there'll be some more coming. Alright. Yeah, Polar Oak. Mm, pretty ugly. Um, I kind of like the Jester. Looks pretty dope, especially being the, um, what is he called? The robots. You know the ones. Yeah, let's buy this one. How much is that costing us? Oh, only Glimmer. Nice. Now we're looking pretty pimp. Tower North, Tower Norte. Torre Norte. I don't know what language that is. Anyone know? Spanish? It's a lovely sunset at the moment. Over the... The, um... The Traveller. Traveller's Light. Hey birds. See you birds. Okay. Doesn't... Oh, what? Guys. This has become a... A flippin' walkthrough. This dead ghost that you can revive in the tower. Never have played this game through twice. I've never seen that. I'll chuck that in the title so people can know straight away what to what to discover from this instalment. Oh no! Ah! <laughs> Thought I had that. Planets. Oh, what's this? Yellow. Level forty-two. Wow, it's pretty crazy. So that's the beginning. Lord Saladin has called you to defend an abandoned mountaintop observatory from a fallen assault. Oh, Trent would actually kill me if I started it. So, I'm not going to. Uh, what's this? This looks interesting. I don't remember seeing that before. Fell Winter Peak. Neither with these plague lands. Um, this is the Dreadnought. That is the Taken King prelude. Uh, that's all the same. So that's cool. Awesome. Alright guys, well, thanks for doing the intro with me. And hope I was some kind of assistance to help you work out whether or not you'd be keen for this DLC. So far I'm in love with the changes and the whole idea of another bunch of stories. The Taken King was easily one of my favourite uh, DLCs for the game. And this one's had so much anticipation, I doubt it's going to be any worse. Or, I don't know, hopefully it's better. So, yeah, check out the DLC. Selling most places about $45 at the moment. Which, you've got to remember, it comes with all of the DLCs and the base games. Like I said, Destiny is the game that keeps on giving, so... No complaints here, Bungie. I love you. <laughs> and thanks for watching, dudes.
See you later. Ping-go-ding-go-bing-go-ding-go-ding-go-ding-go-ding-go-ding-go-ding-go-ding-go-ding-go-ding-go-ding-go-ding-go-ding-go-ding-go-ding-go-ding-go-ding-go-ding-go